Hello viewers and welcome back to Ducoscopy TV, I'm Natalie MacDonald. Now are you a business looking to expand? In which case I've got the perfect interview coming up for you next. Maxi Brezzi of CVA Partners joins me in the studio now. Maxi, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for having me here. Okay, now firstly, what risk appetite are you seeing at present in terms of those businesses looking to expand, whether it be domestically or, or overseas? Um, we are still seeing uh, a great willingness uh, to take risk. And this is, uh, talking about the US, uh, this is what makes the US economy particularly vibrant. We've also noticed that uh, since 2008, uh, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, uh, especially the small ones, had great difficulties finding money to expand. And, uh, and uh, you know, they turn to VCs, they are too small, they turn to banks no money and uh, and that's what gave us the idea to start CVA Partners and to fill that gap, that niche. Uh, we also noticed that entrepreneurs in, in reality they're willing to take the risk but they're not able to plan correct their risk to sort of uh, work it out in numbers. Uh, for that reason when we invest we uh, um, uh, we, we want to help them and we, find, we, we build the financial model for them so that they can understand how the uh, the, the impact of uh, their decision is going to have in future on the activity. And, uh, and, and not only that, because uh, quite a lot of time they don't have management experience, it's where we come in and fill the gap too. Now naturally as lenders, when you're considering the lending of capital to a business looking to expand, what pillars sort of infrastructure wise must a business already have in place? Uh, we have very strict criteria, you know, uh, CVA Partners is not a VC fund. Okay? We finance small business and therefore there must be a business, which means the company must have revenue, has been generating revenue for quite a while, we look at least one year history of the revenue, and uh, must have a client base. Okay? Then the second thing we are looking at is uh, it must have an event that's happening to the company that requires the capital that allows them then to expand. It could be a, a big contract, for example, the acquisition of, uh, of another business or expanding simply in another uh, market for their product. That is what, uh, uh, what, what we, we want to see. Then we want to see obviously how this, uh, this, this uh, new venture is going to generate revenue and ultimately clash because Obviously, we want our loan to be serviced and ultimately repaid. And last but not least, uh, we, we look at management. Who are the people? I mean, quite often we forget that people are the most important intangible asset in a corporation. So we want to know, to get to know them and really sort of see who they are and what their experience, what their knowledge and their willingness to carry out the business. Ultimately, once we have invested, we, we, are, we keep in touch with them. Uh, they weekly, we have weekly calls with them, we talk to them. This gives us the ability to control our risk and see how they are performing, how they are advancing, and also helping them. You mentioned their client base, and this is something I wanted to ask you about. How do organizations figure out where geographically their product or business is going to be successfully received if you're looking at, at expansion overseas for example? Well it, it's not us really uh, who are going to um, uh, determine where they're going. I mean, these guys they must know their business so they must know where they're going, they must know uh, um, what the market is. Okay, We then verify that Okay, independently. We have a, a great network of contacts and you know we can always check if that idea is a good idea, that the plan is a good plan and, uh, and, uh, and this is what we do. What sectors then are you currently seeing the most expansion in and are there any specific trends that you're noticing at present? Well, we still believe, you know, we're based in San Francisco basically and uh, close to Silicon Valley and it's a fabulous place. Uh, and so we still believe that technology will continue to be a driver, a strong driver there. 
But you know, let's not forget uh, that uh, uh, though Jeff and I, you know, had both an exposure, a great exposure in our pri uh, prior lives to technology, let's not forget the call it ordinary business. You know, uh, what I mean by that? For example, one of our clients is a company that does plumbing. Okay, you say plumbing? That's not exciting. Well, okay. If your tap is leaking, you'll be thrilled to see a plumber coming, first of all. But it's, it's a great business. It's a great business. These guys, they saw, they saw the uh, real estate market coming back, and they saw, therefore, the opportunity to expand. They came to us. First, they were not ready. Then we told them to do some homework. They did it. And then they came to us. We financed them. Not only that, but we allowed them, for example, we gave them a full uh, blown uh, cash flow projection that allowed them to avoid some of the pitfalls this the, the, this guys uh, encounter in their business because they think revenue 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 invoicing 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 and then they find out that they don't have the cash to pay their employers their employees so basically this is what we did we we helped them out and it's a great business and uh, you know uh, what to say in our philosophy our client has to be successful because their success is our success it's a win-win. Maxi, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insight into this industry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's all we've got time for right now, but don't go away. The Dukascopy TV team will be back with plenty more exclusive interviews and FX analysis for you. Goodbye for now.